What's up everybody? I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm Biscuit Dog and we are in a new game today. It's called Planet Coaster. This is hands down the best coaster slash theme park simulation game I've ever played. Uh, let me just take you through what I've got so far here. Every single one of these rides, these rides are pre-built, okay? So these rides come in menus, obviously the teacups and the octopus, all the, all the oldies but goodies. They're all here. This is the pre-built log flume ride. You don't have to use the pre-built ride, by the way. You can you can design your own one from scratch, and it'll be awesome. Um, same with the coasters. You can design. This is a pre-built coaster, but you can design your own coasters from scratch. I've just used the pre-built stuff uh, just to check it out, just to see how the game works, and I'm really really excited. So you start with a blank square. You can choose a different. You can choose between different biomes. So uh, this one I think is the tropical one because I wanted like a kind of pirate theme park. Uh, but all you get at the beginning is this kind of entrance bit, and a, a door going to nowhere where the guests magically come from. The guests obviously live in the mountain or something. Pretty pretty weird. Uh, but you get these two. You get these two entrances, and that's it. So it's just flat after that. And you get these trees. In this one, you get these. This like sort of rocky outcrop with some palm trees and whatever. Everything else that you see here is placed here by me. Uh, this is a pre-built campsite, but I could have placed every item individually in a different way if I wanted to. Um, it's super intense. As I said, the rides are pre-built, so there's no like messing with those too much. But all the coaster, all the coaster rides, you can completely make them from scratch. You can have animatronic stuff around the rides. Like here, I've got two pirates having a shootout across the path. These two animatronic pirates. It's awesome. That one's in the wrong place a little bit, but you know, uh, there's a lot, a lot of stuff to place, a lot of objects. So this giant animatronic tentacle, tentacle of the Kraken, uh, I put it there. I put the pond there. I put the rock there. Uh, these stores, like this is the gulpy store. This uh, it's like a slushy store. Uh, you could like I placed it, and it's just a block. It's it's just a block, and then you can add walls, different kind of walls, different signage, different roofs. Uh, different lighting, super intense. This mist that you see in between the trees here, I placed it. I've got like ambient speakers playing animal noises in here. Uh, there's this advertising I put here. Obviously you can edit signs because biscuit land. This is just like a point of interest, the witch house, but the witch house and the witch flying around it are two different objects, so I could have the witch anywhere, flying anywhere. I could have a hundred witches if I wanted. Uh, it's the it's crazy all the bins you have to manage the trash you have to manage the people you have to manage the food uh, the rides break down there's fine you know like finance stuff you can you can even do ad campaigns you guys marketing you can start a marketing campaign you can do a TV commercial you can do and I haven't messed with any of this by the way I've still got to get into all of this stuff uh, you can have a, a breakdown of the guests like here's adults teens and family groups the different stuff they like and don't like you can research new rides right now i'm researching a new thrill ride that's going to be great you can research new coasters uh, like i've researched the lazy river ride i've got to make one of those there's so many things you can do every tree every rock every every everything like here the queue is really long but you can you can put in like a, a premium queue system or whatever so that if people pay more, they, they get to queue in the short queue. Uh, there's so much stuff you can do. Basically, every aspect of a theme park is present in this game. Each ride has its own music, as you can hear. Like, here's the teacups. Oh, yeah, boy. There's, like, a, a pirate ride here. When it starts up, it's going to play this crazy pirate music. The octopus is playing its own music. <laughs> yeah dig on that. Wait, the best bit, the animatronic pirate band. Check this out. Ah, oh, they're not playing at the moment. Wait. Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Accordion monkey. Barrel grandpa. This is the coolest thing ever. So, yeah, this game's amazing. The level of detail is crazy. You have to keep the, the guests in the queue, like the, the queue for the log flume ride is crazy long. It's $15 a ticket, and people are queuing like mad. I think it's $15, $15 a ticket, that's stupid expensive, you guys. Uh, but people were getting bored in the queue, so I had to put like a, like mini attraction stuff to keep them interested while they wait. This is helping. It's crazy. 
There's so many different rides. Uh, I'm, I'm playing like the management mode at the moment, so I've got to watch the money and everything. I'm doing pretty well at the moment. I've let it run for a bit. It's doing pretty well. The rides will break down every now and again. You can see this ride is badly broken. No one's waiting. Uh, so we've got to find... You can manage your staff and stuff. So if I go to park management, you can, uh, you can hire a mechanic or a janitor, or any of these cool mascots, even. Wow, man, this is so cool. And the best part, the best part, you guys, is that you can you can ride the rides as the guest, if you like. So I can click this woman, click the camera, go here, and now I'm seeing the park through her eyes. Never mind that when I click her, I can check all her stats, what she likes, what she doesn't like, where she had a bad time, what she thinks about the park, where she queued too long. This game is super intense. Super intense. So I'd really like to get deep into this game, and I'm definitely going to be playing more of it myself. Uh, I don't know if you guys want to see me play it or are interested in this kind of game at all. I think it's really, really cool, and I'm going to play some more of it. So if you guys are interested in seeing me make a park, it's going to be epic. I'm going to make the most amazing theme park I can. Um, yeah, then just please like and subscribe if you haven't already. But like and let me know down in the comments that you'd like to see more, and I will make more, you guys, because I'm going to be playing it, as I said. Because... It's awesome. It's awesome. You can ride the rides. One thing that's missing that I hope they put in um, is to be able to create an avatar, which you can do. You do at the beginning of the game, but to be to be able to take that avatar into the park and just walk around and ride all the rides and stuff, that would be really, really special. This game's amazing, though. I can't say enough cool things about this game. Uh, I thought it was going to be cool, but I didn't know it was going to be this cool. Uh, it's really, 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 really fun. So, if you're at all interested in simulation games of theme parks, or roller coasters, or watching people stand in line, this is totally the game for you. Don't hesitate, get it right now. I suspect that if you're into theme park builders, you already know about this game, because it's that kind of game. But it's amazing. Ah, feast your eyes. It's a wonderland. A wonderland of lights and music and guests and money. <laughs> yeah, there's so many cool rides too. And these are just the starter rides. I haven't really researched anything, you guys. I just researched a Mexican restaurant, so I better put one of those up. But uh, yeah, let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see more or with that thumbs up. And obviously, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Thank you very much for watching, you guys, and I will see you next time. Peace!